Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, coast to coast, This Week in America. What will the American people do when tyranny and political correctness become the law of the land? Where are the George Washingtons and Benjamin Franklins that we need today? Liberal leftist educators deliberately ignore the tyranny of the increasingly socialist movement of government under the guise of political correctness. What freedoms are we willing to surrender? Who are our youth in our youth willing to serve in the armed forces? Well, all those questions addressed in the dystopian novel Divided We Fall by Carl Berryman. Carl, a retired U.S. Army officer, having served as lieutenant colonel, he served 13 tours in over 22 years, including a stint during the Vietnam War. Prior to joining the U.S. Army, he practiced veterinary medicine in Montana after he earned a bachelor's degree in zoology and a doctor's degree in veterinary medicine from the University of Missouri. After his military career, Carl took a master's degree in public health from the University of Minnesota, completed two years of graduate studies in veterinary pathology at Texas A&M University. An epidemiologist in state government and author, Carl Berryman is back with us on This Week in America to discuss his political military adventure novel, Getting Rave Reviews, Divided We Fall. Carl, welcome back to the program, sir. It's great to have you with us. Thank you, ma'am. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. It's my pleasure, sir. It is great to have you here. And we've got Barb, who's uh, assisting with Carl and on the, the telephone at that end. Uh, and it's great to have both of you back with us. Carl was with us to talk about his book uh, recently, 2025. That's available. We'll give you that information as well. Carl, what I love this world that I don't love living in it, but it is such an eye-opener. The world you've created in Divided We Fall what prompted you to write this book? I like to look down the road 10, 15, 20, 30 years and see what the probabilities are, or at least the possibilities. And uh, I'm not sure I like that. Well, I can tell you frankly, I do not like the direction in which my country is heading. Uh, it's interesting that I wrote so much about political correctness and the possibility of socialism as a marching force in our country. And when I wrote this book over 10 years, when I look and see that we have Bernie Sanders, a committed socialist, after this time running for president, it's almost inconceivable. That's interesting that you wrote this over 10 years ago. What is the relevance today in a book that you wrote 10 years ago? I'm reading it. You could have written this book last weekend, it sounds like. What's the relevance today? Well, it's, a, it's the trend that concerns me. It's a march towards socialism. And according to a recent poll I saw, the majority of our university students now believe socialism is a better way to go than capitalism. The book we're talking about is Divided We Fall. It's a United States that you will not recognize. It's an excellent read, an eye-opening read. The author is Carl Berryman. You'll find the book at the usual places, including authorreputationpress.com. If you go to our website, you can link on directly and and get information and order the book as well. Uh, Carl, did you use any individuals you know as, as models for your characters in the book? Uh, no, not in this particular novel. I made uh, all the characters up without a basis uh, or a model of anyone I know. So we can sort of do a, a guessing game as we're looking, because I think people will come to mind. We'll think of people as, as we're reading this book and some of the characters as everything unfolds. Why did you choose the setting for the book? Well, I am a Westerner at heart. And I find that there's a, a a bit of rugged individualism left here in the Rocky yes, Mountains, yes. as opposed to the, uh, how should I say, the subculture that persists or exists on both our coasts in California, particularly, and the, the New York area, the, this trend towards... Uh, uh, how should I say it, urbanization and collectivization. Yet the book is Divided We Fall. Carl Berryman is the author. Back with us on the program, talking about this book, Divided We Fall, this time. When you go through this, it's fiction, and we're thinking, okay, this is fiction. It makes for an interesting story. I don't think this could happen. 
What, in your estimation, as the author and someone who's studied this for a number of years, what's the likelihood of these events ever actually taking place? Give it another 20 years, I'd say it's at least a 50-50 probability. That's frightening as, as we're reading this, and it's something to keep in mind. And as you're asking yourself questions as you're reading it, you can almost see that, okay, this may be an area that, uh, that we're headed in. The book, Divided We Fall, Carl Berryman, information at authorreputationpress.com, the book at Amazon, the, uh, the usual places. I mentioned your career, a varied career. Uh, what uh, it was an opportunity to meld together experiences and observations. What was that like? Because this really reflects your life, who you are, and, and your observations. What was that like? Well, I really had a quite varied career. Not only did I uh, indulge in private practice of veterinary medicine for several years out here in the West, but in the Army I had a plethora of different jobs. Uh, some were food inspections, some were in epidemiology, some were in pathology, some were in administration uh, program uh, progress. Uh, it's just a whole lot of different aspects came together. Let's talk about that career in, in the Army. I mentioned in the beginning one of the questions you addressed, who of our youth are willing to serve in the armed forces? You did. You did with distinction and honor for, for over 22 years. How did that military career shape who you are today? What impact did that have on, on, on Carl Berryman, the person and the author? Well, uh, giving the plethora of different duties I've had, I had a much broader perspective than I think the general public has uh, in serving overseas, doing food inspection. Uh, we were doing that to protect the uh, value, if you will. Uh, food is the most important or the most expensive aspect of the Department of Defense. And consequently, veterinary corps officers are responsible for the procurement inspections of tens of thousands of tons of food or subsistence every month. Uh, we would go into plants and approve or disapprove them based upon their sanitary practices, where they procured their raw materials, how they processed them, uh, shipping, the whole nine yards from farm to fork, so to speak, yes. if I can use that term. You know, that's fascinating because we think of the military and the military budget, and we think of weapons, we think of training, we think of transportation. Everybody who's there has to eat, and uh, I never really thought about that before, the importance, the significance, the expense of, of doing that. Carl Berryman, our guest, talking about his fiction, Divided We Fall. Is there any historical precedence for, for some of the topics, the themes that you develop in your book? Oh, very much so. Uh, you could go back for eons in history uh, and look at... Uh, Tyranny stepping up all the way back from the Greeks through uh, Caesar's attempt to uh, establish tyranny. Uh, you can look at the number of times it has, uh, in our lifetime even, Russia, uh, Nazi Germany. Currently look at Venezuela. Uh, and I don't know some of the other South uh, East Asian countries who are in tyranny. Uh, it's been it's been tried time and time again without any long-term success. Uh, sooner or later, the people will rise up against uh, the tyranny when it's pre oppressive enough. You know, it's interesting you mentioned from the news some of the stories out there. Are there events that you see unfolding, current events, that could lead to your premise? As you're looking at these, do you see, wait a minute, I wrote this as fiction, but it, it just got a little bit closer to reality possibly today? Well, I think so. I'll look no further than what is going on in our own country and what is uh, being presented uh, as a potential loss. Look at, look at our national debt. You know, it's in, inconceivable to me if we will ever be able to pay that off. Yes. And yet more and more social welfare programs are being put forward, particularly by the Democratic Party. 
The book is Divided We Fall. Carl Berryman, our guest on the program. Carl with us recently talking about his book, 2025. You'll find all of the information on that as you uh, Google. Berryman is B-E-R-R-Y-M-A-N. Book available, books available at authorreputationpress.com, Amazon, all the usual places. Go to our website and you can link on and, and get information on that. Let's talk about the, the president, the main character you have in the book, Ethan Bradley, Describe him and tease us a little bit with with what he goes through. Uh, let's see, talk about him. oh, the president. Ethan Bradley. Ethan Bradley. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ethan Bradley is a character uh, that's based a fair amount on our son. Uh, our son is a an airborne air assault ranger qualified colonel with twenty eight years in the army. Uh, four tours in the Middle East. Uh, he was a battalion commander of an artillery battalion, uh, commanded an infantry battalion in Afghanistan. And so our, our character is based primarily on him. He uh, turned down a star, uh, that is a general officer, because he didn't want to go back to Afghanistan for a fifth tour. So he is now currently employed, if you will, at Command and Neural Staff College at Fort Leavenworth as a senior military analyst. So he is the primary inspiration for the character. The book we're talking about is Divided We Fall by Carl Berryman, our guest on the program. Just to several points from the book, you've got Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and the Dakotas threatening to secede. You've got the Constitution becoming somewhat meaningless, America guided by the whims of the United Nations, setting the table for what's about to unfold as you read Divided We Fall. What are you working on now, Carl? I mentioned uh, one of the other books that we talked about here, 2025. You've got such a great observational skill, a writing skill. What, what books are you working on now? Well, I am working on a, uh, another book as a follow-on to 2025. Again, the setting is here in Wyoming, and it is a continuation of Major General Bradley and what he has to do to survive, he and his family. Uh, We are invaded by uh, the Chinese, and it is a story that I have not yet been able to reconcile in an ending. I I want to put a happy note on it, but it's very difficult. Well, yeah, and how difficult is that for you when you write a book? I would think emotionally, writing Divided We Fall, and... Coming up with this uh, American... Uh, hang, hang on. What's here? Emotionally, divide, writing, divided, we fall. Yeah. Emotionally? Yeah. yeah. How's that been for you? How has that been for you? Uh, oh, I haven't had much trouble with it, to be honest. Yes. Uh, it's uh, more of looking down the road right now from where we are to the next 20 years. At, uh, after 2025... Uh, and the one I'm working on, I think it becomes more relevant. But right now, that one's kind of in the background. As we read your work, especially Divided We Fall, which is the book we're talking about, we, we sense your, your heartfelt patriotism. What can we do to, to stop this, to turn this around? What do you feel as a nation we need to do to make sure this world you created never comes to uh, come to pass? Okay. My wife is giving me a hand here. That's perfect. We what can we do? Oh, well, I think for one thing, we need to stress the Constitution and our historical, uh, our history in our schools. I just read that uh, the majority of our university students believe socialism or collectivism is a better system than capitalism. That is a trend we need to reverse. And you point out that in so many problems, what can happen when things really sort of the perfect storm you've created there with all sorts of of issues going on, immigration, crime, globalization, the rise of the welfare state, loss of individual liberties, uh, create this perfect storm and America as you you depicted in Divided We Fall is, is unrecognizable. 
Uh, we've got just a few minutes left in the program, Carl. What do you hope the reader takes away from reading the book? As I keep mentioning, it's more than just an interesting read. They're really sort of a call to action there. What do you hope we get from reading Divided We Fall? Well, I'd like to think it's an, an awakening, an awareness of what our political situation is and what we need to do to reverse it. Well, it does that vividly. The book is called Divided We Fall by Carl Berryman. The other book we talked about on the program is 2025. You'll find these books at uh, authorreputationpress.com. Of course, uh, Amazon, if you're Googling, Berryman is B-E-R-R-Y-M-A-N, Divided We Fall by Carl Berryman. Carl, it is always a pleasure to, uh, to have you with us on the program. Thank you for sharing some time and thought with, uh, with us uh, on the program. Look forward to completing the next book and having a chance to talk about that as well. Thank you for being with us on the program. It is my pleasure, and I thank you, sir. It is our pleasure to have you with us and share these very important messages. The book is Divided We Fall, Carl Berryman, the author and our guest. You'll find information, of course, on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.